Good morning, SMTV and PEC team, family, and friends. I am Sergeant First Class Christopher Bates, and I have the privilege of being your Master of Ceremony this morning. Thank you all, you all for taking the time to celebrate and acknowledge our honoree, Sergeant Randall, for his hard work and dedication during his time at the Strength Maintenance Training Battalion and the Professional Education Center. We are joined today with Lieutenant Colonel Brett Ferguson, SMTV Commander, Command Sergeant Major Joshua Fassett, SMTV Command Sergeant Major, First Sergeant Muhammad Glenn, NCOA Deputy Commandant, and today's honoree, Sergeant Greg Crane. Lieutenant Colonel Ferguson and Command Sergeant Major Fassett will now share a few words. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking the time out here, obviously just for yourself a graduation, and uh, we get to say goodbye to one of our one of our family members. As I was just sharing, I was speaking to his father there. We really function here as everybody is aware that the SMTB is a family. We take care of each other and we look out for each other. And that's exactly what you've done for us. For the past year since I've been here, you have been a remarkable young man. I saw you grow, I saw you been on some chevrons now. You've taken on responsibility on numerous occasions and you've been a, just, just a fixture of positivity within our organization. And I appreciate that. Uh, we're definitely going to miss you as you go on. And you're about to be your parents out there in Utah. So we wish the best for you as you're out there. Let me share just a little bit about this young man. I'll tell you. Talk about taking initiative and being a volunteer for everything. And there's something like when I came in, when I came in back in the early 90s, I had, I had one, one mentor said, don't volunteer for everything. It's going to put you in a position where you're definitely going to be utilized and maybe overtaxed. I tell you, just the opposite. Right? And with the opportunities that presented itself, it's unbelievable. And that's what I see in you. Every time there was an opportunity to come in early, you were there. You were there, whether it was 4.30 in the morning and being out there for the for our soldiers and for the states to come here to train, we were there present, leading. We led PRT on numerous occasions. Like that's obviously a formation of several folks here that are, our classes are upwards of the size of 200 when it comes to SQA4, and you did that stellar. Thank you, sir. So we appreciate what you do for us, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So again, uh, it's always uh, you know a pain watching such a young fine young NCO that we got to watch grow over the past year leave us. But it's for the best. Uh, Utah is getting a great uh, asset, and I can tell you that I remember when you first got here, uh, kind of running around trying to figure out where you fit in uh, and your accomplishments that you've made since you've been here. It's been wonderful to watch you grow, even though I've gone for a year. When I came back, uh, you were part of the family. You fit right in. We're jumping into everything. Uh, even this last class, as a student, afterwards, after hours, what people didn't see was you running around to still help out your team, uh, fix stuff, and make sure that everything was happening the way it should be. So that we had 179 students graduate. Uh, I know you were the BLC uh, Distinguished Honor Graduate. Um, the Security Plus and all the other certification that you had to make it through just to do your job and run that automation section the way that you have. Uh, I can't thank you enough. So I appreciate all the hard work. Best of luck to you and the family. Thanks, Sergeant Major. We would also like to recognize Sergeant Crandall's father, Richard Crandall, Sergeant Crandall's significant other, Cassie English as well as Cassie's family for joining us today. Attention delivers. Sergeant Rick Crandall is awarded the Army Commendation Medal for exemplary meritorious service as the Information Technology Non-Commissioned Officer assigned to the Strength Maintenance Training Battalion from March 15, 2023 to 30 September, 2024. Sergeant Rick Crandall's actions were vital to the success and mission accomplishment of the Strength Maintenance Training Battalion Sergeant Crandall exemplified the Army values by striving for excellence and placing the mission and the welfare of the soldiers before himself. His conduct and dedication to serving is in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and the reflection great credit upon himself, the Strength Maintenance Training Battalion, the National Guard Professional Education Center, and the United States Army. Signed, Colonel Adam M. Calderon, Professional Education Center Commander. Please be seated. Lieutenant Colonel Ferguson will now present the Arkansas Traveler Award to Sergeant Crandall. 
This award is presented to non-residents of Arkansas for exemplary and sustained support to the state of Arkansas and its programs. Arkansans have long been known for their hospitality and their love of the beautiful state. This certificate expresses the state's special recognition to out-of-state visitors who have contributed to the progress, enjoyment, or well-being of the state of Arkansas or to her people. The story behind the Arkansas Traveler is simple. While traveling through the Arkansas backcountry in the early 19th century, Colonel Sandy Faulkner, tired and hungry, came upon a humble squatter's cabin. He found the occupant sitting in the doorway playing the first part of a familiar tune, over and over on an old fiddle. Faulkner stopped and asked for accommodation. The squatter offered none. When Faulkner asked why he played the same part of the tune over and over, the squatter replied he didn't know the rest. When Faulkner played the turn of the tune, the squatter changed his mind, making the travel traveler royally welcome for as long as he pleased. Like that long ago traveler, we hope that you have had a good visit, enjoy our state, and share your own turn of the tune with us, and always have nice things to say and good stories to tell about Arkansas. <clears throat> Command Sergeant Major Cassett will now present the PC Signature Award to Sergeant Randall. This award showcases the PC Guide on and is personalized with well wishes by members of the SMTV and PC teams. Ooh. First Sergeant Clinton will now present the Strength Maintenance Training Society of PCS gift to Sergeant Crandall. This gift was compiled by the SMTV team and honors Sergeant Crandall's exceptional service while assigned to the Strength Maintenance Battalion from 15 March 2023 to 30 September 2024. So really quickly, I just want to say, uh, you know, little Cran, Cran Diddy, <laughs> Cran Daddy, Sergeant Crandall, we watched you grow. We appreciate you. Uh, the words, I try to speak to a few of the staff here. And over time, I've heard nothing but spectacular things about you. I wish there was a bigger, better word I could use for you because of who you are and what you've done for this family here and being a part of our family. It's been amazing. We know that you're gonna do great things from here. We're gonna miss you. A few things are put out there, of course, that you're the best team player, which makes a huge deal. And by being that best team player is that what you've done and uh, always opening your mind and being willing to take on um, maybe something you weren't doing so well, but you're always open to say, hey, I wanna grow. I wanna become better because I want our organization to be better. Take that with you. And I know the Army's gonna be great with you being in it. Thank you. So when I agreed to read the script, Sergeant Castillo asked if I would like to say a few words to Sergeant Crandall. <laughs> and I absolutely would. Uh, first off, thank you, Sergeant Crandall, for electing me to read your script. But I would like to say on behalf of myself, I can't speak for everybody else, but I know everybody feels the same. Uh, you have been a great asset to all of us. You're going to leave huge shoes to fill in the IT department. Um, I wish you the best of luck. You helped me tremendously through the URNCO course, whether it was driving across state lines to pick up computers that got locked in a FedEx truck by accident, or traveling to four or five different states on super short notice. So I definitely appreciate all your help. Good luck in Utah. I'm sure you're going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Crandall will now give us his remarks. <laughs> Are you the brief? Um, it's been awesome working here. There's a few people I want to shout out. Jim Monsong, uh, he's been a great mentor, and uh, him and I became really, really close friends while uh, while living here. Sergeant Terry, it's been one of the best deals I've ever had, and it's been amazing to, to grow into your mentorship. I'm drawing a blank. I had a whole list of names. I'm not going to forget people. Uh, I'm going to go blanket. You guys have been amazing to work with. Uh, I came here not knowing anything. Hack, Russ, you guys took the time to teach me. Um, as bullheaded as I was, it was awesome. And I've learned a lot from you guys. And that's absolutely going to be an asset to the States. Cassie, Dad, you guys' parents, thank you guys for helping me through. I mean, these last five weeks have been rough, but helped me through my career here. It's been awesome. Uh, thank you guys for all you've done. And I'm certain we will cross paths again. Thank you.
This concludes today's ceremony. Please come forward to offer your personal congratulations and wish Sark Crandall good luck on his PCS move. Thank you for attending. Yeah.